Hello and welcome back to the power shed. Uh, I had uh, two problems here that uh, I needed to have a time delay for. One was an on delay and uh, that was for the refrigerator. Uh, this is my refrigerator inverter that's running right now. You can see this lights on. And this is the little time delay I made. And so this can be an on delay or an off delay depending on how you hook up the relay. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, I used to go to the junkyard, and I used to get, uh, you know, tear apart TVs. The junkyard guys would chase me away, but that's where I feel at home. So when I need a relay, I just pull it out of this old UPS. They're always down at the town dump and recycling, and I give them back the old battery, and I get all the electronic goodies. So this is a basic circuit here. Uh... What's a little interesting about this is the relay is down in the bottom. Uh, a 12 volt relay will pull in about 8 volts, you know, 7.7, .7, you know, 8.3, something like that. Most power FETs will start conducting at about 2.5 volts. That won't do a lot of uh, current, but the relay is only about 10 milliamps. And so you got 8 and 2.5, so somewhere between 10 volts and 11 volts on this capacitor that relay is going to close and so for the refrigerator I want an on delay of about five minutes and so I connect on this I have a sump pump in the basement uh, that pumps out water uh, it goes over a cliff it's sort of gravity feed once you get it going and uh, you know I always say I have a breaker I flip flip to turn it on and of course, I'm going to remember to turn it off in a couple minutes after the flow gets started. And, you know, sometimes it's five, six, seven hours later. Uh, the other night, my dog woke me up when it was siphoning air down there, and I had left it on for like seven hours. So I need to put one of these on that. So, because I'm getting forgetful. So it's a pretty straightforward circuit. You got 100K resistor charging this. 2200 UF capacitor you could go down as for as low as 470 with electrolytics you always have a little bit of leakage so you don't want to get up close to a mega ohm so uh, you'll see a lot of these where the FET is down here and so the FET would turn on when the cap get gets to like 2.5 volts this I like it it's a longer time delay the voltage has to get up to you know above 10 uh, so it's just easy to work with and the nice thing about it is if for the refrigerator if the battery is a little low in voltage the time delay is longer before it to turn on so but I have this diode here and the diode is to uh, discharge the capacitor once it's off and this goes to a dry set of contacts and so there's nothing really draining the, resi the uh, capacitor so I have this 36k resistor here you know, you could have 10K, you could put almost anything. You just want it sizably smaller than uh, your 100K so it resets. But that's it. It's a little small thing made from junk parts, and uh, it does the job. So play with that scrap. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it's a neat little project.